What's up, Madden fans? Welcome back. I know you're excited for this week's Scheme of the Week, guys. Can't wait to break this down for you. This is one of my favorite defenses to run. We're talking nickel 335. We're talking base play today. We got zone blitzes. We got man blitzes. We got IMO, the best run defense in the game. And we also got a really nice red zone defense for you. So, uh, But nickel 335, a little bit of a different spin on what we were using it for last time and we got it back for you another uh, opportunity to break this down so I'm really really excited about it um, guys here's the base play fairly simple starting out don't want to like blow your mind or anything just yet uh, but the play we like to come out in every single play is the LB dogs I love this play the reason I love this play is because you can get pretty good pressure out of it with very few adjustments and another thing is it's very, very serviceable against the run and the pass. The man coverage is not quite as bad as I, I thought it was, and it typically will do a pretty good job matching up of what they're doing. Now, obviously, if they're in like a five wide, you want to be working your man and zone blitzes. And actually, you know what? I just changed my mind. I just changed my mind. National? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. What am I saying? You guys got me. Got me. You guys got me flustered, man. I'm doing all sorts of crazy things. Okay. Sorry about that, but back to the LB dogs. And you could do this out of cover three as well. So you if you want if you're more of a zone guy, go cover three. If you're more of a man guy, go LB dogs. I like LB dogs, that's my personality. I was in the cover three for a while, but I think the LB dogs is just a little bit better because of the man coverage, it actually sticks to my glue, and because of how much zone blitzes I run, it's good to have those man variances. Anywho, LB dogs, what you want to do here is a setup. Base align. Shift your defensive line to the right, and you're going to do that every single time. Crash your defensive line down, you're going to do that every single time. And you're going to spread your linebackers every single play that we ever do. That's what you're going to do. Those are the first like three or four steps of every single play. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to re-blitz both outside linebackers by globally blitzing them. And you can use with a halfback, and you'll see some fire off the right edge. And, of course, we get picked up. I lab this all morning long, literally for like, freaking three hours trying to get this thing properly working and I was getting really good pressure off that right edge. Let's try it again. There you see the pressure and you see you get that nice little right edge pressure there. Uh, we'll show it to you one more time. Base align, shift your line to the right, crash your line down, spread your linebackers. We did not do that in the last scheme of the week and there's a couple of different variances and reasons why we do that now. Globally re-blitz both outside linebackers and you should get pressure off of that right edge at the quarterback. Sometimes it also comes off the left edge. Here is the way to do it from cover three. It's the same exact setup. What you want to do, you got to go to your cover three play, base align, shift your linebackers, or um, excuse me, shift your defensive line to the right, crash your line down, spread your linebackers, and re -bliss both outside linebackers here. And you'll see we now we have a nice little cover three version of the same play. So... Right off the bat, we got our mana blitz done, right? You can run a man-based play or a zone-based play. We give you two options here. LB Dogs are cover three. They're both really good. They both do a decent job against every single thing that your opponent will throw at you. But, guys, I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. Cannot wait to get in tomorrow. We talk about... Uh, tomorrow we're talking about the rush, the re rush attack, IMO. I mean, guys, this thing stops buck sweep. It stops strong power, and it stops them both ways. So... You know, what do you want? You know, you know, one of the best run defenses in the game coming tomorrow. So check that out tomorrow, guys. Can't wait to get that to you. Um, and, and this nickel 3 to 5, this is just a little snapshot of uh, something that might be coming in a future guide that I do. Because I really love this nickel 3 to 5. Can't wait to break it down for you. But today we're showing you LB Dogs. Tomorrow we'll be showing you a really, really good run defense. Can't wait for that. See you tomorrow.